Skateboarding and other extreme sports are a big part of Manchester and its cultural identity. With skate parks situated all over the city, such skate parks give individuals the opportunity to come and express themselves. One skate park being the most popular in the quaint town of Earlham within Salford is Earlham Skate Park. Unlike others, this skate park has got a great history and an even brighter future. Due to the age of the park being 11 years old, it was incredibly run down and unsafe for users to continue to perform on. Because of this, Salford City Council decided that it would be in the best interest of not only the council but also the public for the park to be demolished. A local and frequent user of the park, Sarah Murray, took it upon herself to start a campaign in the hope of restoring the park. So I've been going on Earlham Skate Park since I was probably about eight years old and uh, that's where I first met Jack, my friend. Pretty much I moved from Yorkshire when I was a kid so I didn't go to like any schools around there or anything so it was a kind of good thing for me to like open up you know, like friendship groups and stuff like that wasn't it because yeah, it was... I was a bit of a lonely child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it got us all like really close and um, we've been going on there for years uh, up until it closed and it was just so sad when it closed because we had like nowhere to go and there was it, our friendships were kind of falling thin weren't they like yeah, it, was it was like we 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 didn't we had no ambition to go out anymore because there was nothing to go out for. It was like it was just tragic, wasn't it really? And it was harder to like get the time to see each other and do things like that because this yeah. was our easiest yeah, place of meet up. Just... That's what uh, pushed me to start the campaign with uh, a few other local people um, to try and get it back. I campaigned and campaigned. I filmed one video, didn't I? And you were in that. I was the uh, just trying to raise as much awareness as you could for it to. To try and to get try donators. And, get, and then we ended up getting in grants and um, from different companies that were willing to like invest in it in a way. And then uh, we got the money for it and then the construction's obviously started and it's actually finished but it just needs to be... So it needs to be finalised, you know, with safety checks and stuff like that so it shouldn't be too long now before it's back to what it was. Over the years we've had some really like funny times on there haven't we? We used to have barbecues and everything didn't we? Yeah like hot summers like afternoons we'd all be like bored out of our heads and we'd be uh... too hot to ride so we'd just like get a barbecue and just like start cooking loads of food and just have a feast and I filmed a summer video in 2014 over the whole of the summer and it was just like it was just so good wasn't it and we, we always watch it even to this day like three years forward we still like watch it all the time and we just like reminisce about all the times that we spent on there and like it's like the funny clips from yeah, just on there. I, I still watch all of your like videos from like three, four years ago and like think back how different everything all was compared to now. It's, it's a big difference. That's what made it so sad because when the park wasn't there, we'd just like sit at home and we'd watch the old videos and reminisce and it really upset me. Did it upset you? Like? It, yeah, it did because it, I had a feeling like it wasn't going to be the same but as yeah, it was when it was all back and... It's going to take some time before we get used to the whole feel, everything again. I'm so excited for it to be back. Like, I, I can't even begin to explain because it, it, it literally was my childhood and was your childhood as well. Yeah. And then to have it taken away so quickly, it was just so sad. But now we've got something to look forward to. So. Lewis Dunn, a local sponsored scooter rider, touches on how the park has developed him as a person and also allowed him to progress to a near professional level in the sport. First of all, if I probably didn't have this park, I probably won't be where I am today with the friends I have and the opportunities I've overcome. One being the sponsors I've recently acquired. Like me riding, going from a skateboard to a scooter over the years, just always been around a skate park. Uh, especially early skate parks, it's obviously my local, it's closest to my house. I don't know where I'd be without scooting, to be honest. The friends that I've, I've met, the, the places I've been, all because of this skate park, pretty much. Having it being rebuilt as it is now, uh, still at this age, with still all my friends riding with me, a uh, big like accomplishment, especially with the community, all the kids that will grow up doing what they love. Like being since like kids to like say adults now with full time working jobs, still coming on here, meeting, having a good time. Hopefully there'll be kids, the younger generation who will get away from all the drugs and the smoking and stuff like that and just become a group like we have done. Yeah, so the uh, sponsors that I've uh, acquired, 
I've got a clothing company called Bearings who send me clothes. Bearings. Um, there's a skate park in Manchester called Beast Ramp Skate Park. It's an indoor one in a big warehouse. I've been riding there for years now. I go there and I train little kids and I show them what the sport's about and stuff like that. And it's just something that I really look up to when it comes to kids looking up to me. Like I wouldn't be there without this skate park. I don't know where I'd actually be without this skate park right now. Where it is today being rebuilt with fresh wood and bigger ramps. It's just mind blowing, a bit game changing. World-renowned pro BMXer Harry Main, although originally from Liverpool, travels to Earlham to ride the park. He is known by many for his popular Instagram and YouTube accounts, as well as his amazing talents. I used to ride here all the time before it was rebuilt recently, and uh, the craziest thing about it was it was amazing. The hips were amazing. Everything felt really good compared to a lot of skate parks around the northwest in general. In fact, the whole of England. And then now, when you come. The way it's being rebuilt now is just insane. The ramps feel better, the transitions are better, the distances on the flat bottoms are better. Just the skate park in general is just, I'd rate it like a solid 10 out of 10, even at a professional level. I mean, I'm a professional BMXer, and even for me to come and ride it, it feels enough for me. The old park was definitely a bit ghetto, and like, I think over the years it ended up a bit weathered, but uh, now it's kind of cool to see that this has got more of like a professional feel to it which I think maybe the ramp builders are maybe better or just more modern materials or something. But even just today, there's so many kids here and it's just like a couple of days since it opened and just to see how hyped people are around here, just riding it since it's been rebuilt just shows what people think of it. So for sure, like skate parks in local communities like this are massive. I mean, I was once upon a time just a, a normal local kid like these kids and having skate park and facilities and stuff to ride all the time has given me the opportunity to move forward with my life in a way where I've involved myself in the sport and for kids to be able to have that opportunity who live in Earlham or in any of the Manchester surrounding areas is pretty insane really, you know, to be given a skate park of this size. Um, it's just really cool, you know, kids have now got the opportunity to come and ride. If they see it on YouTube, they see it on TV, they can grab a bike or a skateboard or a scooter or rollerblades or whatever and come down and have a session themselves. So yeah, there's no, it's a no-brainer. It will get people into the sport. Ooh. Not bad. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going home. Although seemingly insignificant to others, Erland Skate Park is at the heart of its community. Soon to be reopened, the park has already seen people from all different walks of life, cities and backgrounds to celebrate the second chance the park and the town itself has been granted. Mm -hmm.